Janet Davis has been in harness racing her entire life. She's seen highs and lows. And despite her roller coaster ride, this horsewoman has remained one of the most positive and inspirational people in the business. For those who know Janet, they are quick to tell you that she's the first to lend a hand and to put a smile on your face. Let's get to know this one of a kind Wonder Woman in a post time Q&A segment. How did you get into harness racing? I was bred into it both sides. My dad, my mom, their parents. And now my son's in it. My daughter didn't choose that path, but that's okay. She's doing well at her job. What makes you feel like a kid again? Honestly, horse racing. I still, when one of my horses races great or they win, I yell, I scream, I jump, I sometimes cry. I usually get made fun of in the paddock, but honestly, that's what makes me feel like a kid again. I just get so excited. It's like a kid going to an ice cream store. <laughs> my horse is winning and racing good. That's what, I just love them. What's the best advice you've ever gotten about training horses? The best advice I can say I probably got was both not only from my father, but from my mom's brother, Uncle Johnny. They both told me, you only get out what you put in, meaning you want to lay around, you don't want to jog, you don't want to train, it's too hot, it's raining, you're not going to get the results. You have to get up and get your work done and give them every best chance they have to get you across the winter circle. If you could be the member of any TV show family, which family would it be? That's a no-brainer. It would definitely be Beth Dutt in the Yellowstone. <laughs> she is my hero. She just keeps everybody in line, and if things don't go right, it will go right when she's done. <laughs> if you weren't training horses, what do you think you'd be doing? When I graduated high school, I was accepted for uh, counting and sociology. I wanted to be a social worker for kids with troubled families. I also was thinking about the accounting thing. I graduated, I denied on the paid scholarship, and I went to Pompano for one winter to work, and now you know the rest of the story. <laughs> Here I am. What is something you're terrible at, but you like to do anyway? I actually asked my son this question, and he hit the nail right on the head, and it would definitely be directions. I have no sense of direction. If you ask me for directions, it takes me 10 minutes to explain. You have to go past the rock or the church or the greenhouse. And 90% of the people usually come back with, can you just give me the address? <laughs> What's perfect about your life? I don't like the word perfect. I don't really think anything in life is perfect. It's comfortable, it's happy, it's... I try and make my life as positive as I can. We've had a couple rough years with Eddie's health and my mom, but um, you gotta find a positive somewhere and make the best of things. I think my family, I cherish my husband, my kids, my horses, but um, I don't like the word perfect. So I don't really think anything is perfect, but it's great. I love my life. What's on your bucket list? Oh my God, we don't have enough time. I'd like to go to Ireland. I'd like to go to Hawaii, Australia. I'd like to get a Winnebago and travel. And if anybody knows of anybody, I'd love to win the Hamiltonian. <laughs> what do you bring to a friendship? Well, I think <laughs> I bring loyalty, honesty, trust. I think that's three great key things for a friendship, but I hope my friends would say I bring positivity and laughter. When anybody, I don't care who it is, if somebody's having a bad day, my motto in life is for every negative you have, you have to try and find two positives somehow, some way, and you're gonna get through it. Just, I try to keep everybody upbeat, even if I'm having a bad day, so. Other than winning, obviously, what's your favorite part about harness racing? I would have to say it is the family that we all are. Out on the racetrack, most definitely, we're all out for ourselves, which we're supposed to be, and we are. But um, when one of our guys are down or girls are down, 
I usually get a fundraiser going and I've never had anybody turn me away. Everybody comes together to help everybody out to pick that person up and the love, the generosity and the kindness in this business. I just wish more people knew what went on behind the scenes. It's, uh, it's a family that I just don't think I would ever want to live without. What's the coolest thing you've ever done? Honestly, I think I'd have to say it was Papa Top Pop. We bred him, I fold him out with a broken leg. Um, I raised him, we broke him, and we raced him his entire career, 12 years. And uh, he was never on Lasix, he never left us. He did leave Eddie and I for a little bit, but he went to my son Eric for a few months. He stayed right in the family and he won his last race at Rosecroft at 14 and he's in my backyard with the rest of them. <laughs> That was pretty cool to be able to say that you had a horse its entire career and he never missed a year and that was pretty cool. What's your best life advice? My best life advice is treat others as you would like to be treated. Like my grandmother always told me, always do unto others as you would want done unto you. Um, there's, no, there's no more room in this world for negativity. You have to stay positive and keep your head up and keep your chin up. Things are going to go bad, they always do. but. You gotta know, once you pick yourself up, things will go back the right way. Don't ever give up, just keep on trudging forward.